In this lesson, we'll continue our review of writing test eight, section two. We're now on the second of four passages, a lion's share of luck. It's the beginning of February, and as they do every year, thousands of people line eight street, the heart of Chinatown in Washington, DC. The crowd has gathered to celebrate Lunar New Year. The street is a sea of red. Red is the traditional Chinese color of luck and happiness. And so question 12, just from reading it, this looks awkward. We have red, period, red. We want to effectively combine the sentences. And so we have an independent clause. The street is a sea of red. We could put a comma here, get rid of this red is, and then link it, the traditional Chinese color of luck and happiness. That's a dependent clause and it totally works. And so this one, the answer is just A for number 12. Buildings are draped with festive comma, red comma, banners comma, and garlands. Why do we need commas to split up this description? We could just say festive red banners and garlands without any punctuation, and that is the answer. 13 is D. Lampposts are strung with crimson paper lanterns, which bob in the crisp winter breeze. The eager spectators await the highlight of the New York parade, the lion dance. All right, let's take a look at the next paragraph. Experts agree that the lion dance originated in the Han Dynasty, 206 BCE and to 220 CE. However, there is little agreement about the dance's original purpose. Some evidence suggests that the earliest version of the dance was an attempt to ward off an evil spirit. Lions are obviously very fierce. And so question 14, we want to effectively complete the explanation of the origin of the dance. This is what I mean by an evidence-based writing question. We have that the dance was an attempt to ward off the spirit, but lions are very fierce doesn't really explain this 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 dance and what they're trying to do if you look at the choices here it's definitely c they're dressed in lion costumes to scare the spirit away right that completes the evidence of an attempt to ward off the spirit so just be careful on these questions they're pretty common in the writing section c another theory is that an empire upon waking from a dream about a lion hired an artist to choreograph the dance the current function of the dance is celebration 15, we want to conclude the paragraph. This doesn't really work as a conclusion. So in the beginning, it states that experts agree about the origination of the dance, but there's debate about the purpose. And if you look at the choices, C definitely completes it the best, whatever its origin. So whatever like the purpose is, today the dance is a joyous spectacle, a celebration of promise, a new year, and then accurate, accurately concludes it. All right, let's take a look at the next paragraph. The lion dance requires strength, grace, and coordination of two dancers, both of whom are almost completely hidden by the elaborate bamboo and paper mache lion costume that they maneuver. This is a grammar-based question. So just remember, both of whom, whom is the objective case, it's really the same as them, right? Would you say both of they, or would you say both of them? And remember, t we have an independent clause. We're tying it with a dependent clause. You can always state both of whom. You could say one of which, for example, if it's an inanimate object, but you could never have any other pronoun. You can never have a that or a them or a they or it. That would create a comma splice. And so here we've got of which both. It doesn't make sense because we're talking about people. We don't want the which. Both of them creates a comma splice. And here we don't even have a subject at all. The, just remember this phrase, both of whom one of which the answer for 16 is a and we'll do one more in this video number 17. one person operates the lion's head as the other guides the torso and tail many of the moves in the dance such as jumps rolls and kicks are similar to the martial arts and acrobatics the dancers must be synchronized with the music accompanying the dance drums cymbals and gongs that supply the lion's roar as well as with each other and so question 17, we have many of the moves in dance, and we have, this is a non-essential clause describing some of the moves are similar to martial arts and acrobatics. This is easy to overlook. You don't see this tested that much. It used to appear all the time on the old SAT, but we're comparing the moves of dance to martial arts. That is an inconsistent comparison. And I'm not saying you have to have the moves of martial art. You could have a pronoun those but you can't compare the moves of a dance to martial arts and if you look at the choices here the only one that makes a consistent comparison is d right doesn't state moves but it states those referring to the moves in martial arts and acrobatics and so the answer is d